guy that's going to do extra film studies, going to do the extra repetitions in practice, real leader for the Spartan offense. Play action on the first play. He tucks it and runs, calls his own number, and a good gain on. Home run ball. It wasn't there. Took off and picked up a first down with his legs. With the sun in his face, the pass complete to Andre Pegues and Pegues against Hampton, along with Towson, which was a big one for them. They're what wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage. Tremaine Talbert fall. Saw Car Hines at Dawson Odom's first recruiting class is getting better, and the program is starting to become more competitive. Third and 11, Coons back to pass, not on the same page with Talbert, and that'll bring up having been in this system for a while now. First and 10 from the 17 yard line, the handoff, and that's Jared Hunter. Jared Hunter, one of the Averaging 193 per game. That was a pickup of seven. That'll bring up second and short. And here out of the Wildcat, they like to run these packages for Casey Hawthorne near the first down, but a flag. Be called for holding on rushing plays normally. Jashawn Scroggins now at the quarterback position. That's Quentin Williams, excuse me. Play. And there the pass complete to Braylon Smith. And Smith picks up the first down to run play into Spartan territory. First and 10, Williams back looking, trying to go for Hawthorne, and Hawthorne turns his body around, but the pass, they're gonna say, oh, they're is gonna complete. Because if they do, they're gonna see he was out of bounds, but they're gonna get away with this play. 30 yard pickup, they give it to Eden James, five. He's wrapped up by A.J. Richardson, the true freshman, five, second and goal. Williams going, and just short, the pass in complete to Adrian Chan. Williams takes it himself, and he's stopped short, they say. As in the offense, staying on the field, gonna try to punch it in on fourth and goal, he and in. he's in. Howard scoring their first touchdown of the game. And the Bison on the board first, courtesy of a Q. And over Towson out of the CAA to help with the Mid-East Athletic Conference impressive run in non-conference games. Speaking of run, they hand it off to Xavion Evans, and Evans is stopped. Game. Out. Is this how our defense can fly to the football? They get around the football. They throw their bodies. They're not afraid to mix it up. Very aggressive group. And you can tell how quickly to Ron Biles Walker in motion. Three wide receivers to the top of your screen. Coons on third and five. Flanks it out and the pass is complete to Biles Walker. On the field, good job by the offensive line. 11 yards gained on the play. Then Evans keeps it on the ground. Or was it the pill in basketball? No, it's the rock. rock. You, you got it right. Keeping the rock is Otto Coons with a little Juke move he tried to get away from, but couldn't escape Kenny Gallup. Know where you're coming with the football. You hide it a little bit. And they've been able to find some success. Coons overthrows his intended target. Some hesitation. A little bit more definitive. See a shift to the left side. And the pass complete. The tackler tried to get him. Couldn't hold him up as Robert Jones. And keep running. Andre Pagis. Inside the red zone. First and goal. Motion and Coons going to that right side. And the Spartans trying to answer on their ensuing possession. Savion Evans falling forward and a flag. See that shift again this time to the right side, a lot of movement. Evans trying to run. find a crease and hole, and Evans is just a power. Pad level to make himself small, then explode. They give it to him again, trying to get small behind the tacklers, but he stopped the hold from the defense. More out of Ocala, Florida. From 20 yards out, and it is good. So Norfolk. 
on first and 10. Patient running from Jared Hunter, but nowhere for Hunter to go. A gain of about seven and a safety real close by. Okay. Expecting the run again. Jared Hunter shakes a tackler. Stays on his feet, tripped up by Xavier Graham in the flat. Was told that Norfolk State declined the penalty. That's why the ball stood where it is and pass incomplete. Norfolk State, the direct snap. And there a different look that they provided on offense. Native player, he can make things happen. They feed 13 again, tries to find a little space, the cut, and a first down picked up. Dials up here on first down from the 36-yard line of the Spartans. Coons tried to get that one in there. Tight window for Collis Pride, couldn't hold on to it. Yards. If you pull it, though, you have to complete that pass because now you're behind the chains, making it second and long. And the run from King, and King steamrolling ahead. Dyson. Coming back for Norfolk State. Once again, and stop short, coming through. On Which was the D.C. <laughs> Reservoir. <laughs> I love that story. Every time you tell it, but I bet you it was a compelling, uh, compelling story that helped get you here all the more to Howard University on second down. Quentin Williams with time. Look out. Not on the same page and into the hands of R.J. Coles. And Coles coming up. Over the top. So when you take a look at this one, there's somebody behind the wide receiver, and there's also somebody that was underneath the wide receiver. Turnovers? Well, they got the turnover to get their defense off the field. They hand it off in a short game on gain on the play. As Kavon King has been in catering company. I'll be the first to say we're not known as a tailgate school. Okay. Now we're the number one party in HBCU in the country <laughs> and social gathering type stuff, but I'm not going Here on third and nine, Norfolk State, two for five on third down conversions. The pass complete to Tavion Morrison. Tavion Morris is going to be a foot race. The angle and the tackle made by. And man coverage, you miss a tackle, it's going to be a big play. They feed Evans again, and Evans has space and going around and following downs for the Spartans. Here's Evans again, and Jackson gets to him in time. That's on the edge, and go back to that misdirection that was effective earlier in the game. Quick toss out to Talbert, and Talbert Wow, middle of the field open. And the pass into the hands of Pegues. Pegues near. Lots a little bit further away, about a yard and a half almost. And Coons is going to try to run for it along that left side and pushes forward. Tough run. The junior quarterback under center for Norfolk State. Leg running. Coons. Tucking it, keeping himself. Moves. Yeah, <laughs> Coons says, you know, I can, I can fly. At quarterback, they like to run with him. Some design run packages coming over from Florida A&M, and here it is, Coons, another <laughs> sap, moving ahead. So the guy who gets him in place, and he come up with the stop here as Kevon King lining up in the Wildcat. Can they hold him out? And they say it's a touchdown for Norfolk State. Kavon King with the five yard dive. He's had to deal with some things as Casey Hawthorne in at quarterback and pulled down to the ground all the way. Williams back in at quarterback, second and 14. And looking for Hawthorne. Hawthorne, the playmaker, and they knew that it was going right to him as Dalen Team, They like Hawthorne, but. Also, watch out for Braylon Smith. One of their go-to guys is out. Nakaya 
Sean Hezekiah as Williams decides to keep it himself across the 45, but stopped a few yards. Bickerton punts it away and gets a favorable bounce and an excellent punt from Aaron Bickerton to pin the spark. A tough starting field position for his Spartans. Out of the end zone, they hand it off and quickly brought down as Christian White. They're on second down. They hand it off to King. King trying to squirm through that line like his nicknames. Coach Scott not happy with the spot. Fresh set of downs for the visitors. King once again. Broken bird. It would be epic if they were able to do that. Yeah. I think right now what they're trying to do is get a couple first downs, let the clock run, and if we can somehow get into the locker room with the lead, they'll take it. Now, if they cross. You, we would see a steady dose of the running game from both sides. Having success on the ground is Norfolk State trying to get that push on the carry, and they push Xavion Evans back. Christian Warren, though, in that situation, I know that Evans has been your guy, but King has been your workhorse. Deciding to take a shot here with Andre Pegues, and there was some help. Kayvon King has been that guy for you. I would have him in the game at all times as much as I can. Back-to-back -back throws. This one is complete to Tavion Moore. Enough to pick up these five yards, then they'll step on the gas pedal and do the hurry-up offense. Five for nine on third downs. A little trickeration as Otto Coons picks up the first down. And it comes to eight along and drives to keep them going. And here on first down, Coons looking to pass. And dangerous throw as the pass incomplete to Pagui. Backed up, you were backed up, you got here running. Now you got to get a big play in order to start getting in the scoring position. They were ready for Coon as a swarm of Bison Jersey bring him down call a timeout call a timeout and give your offense a chance with Quinn Williams instead they run the ball and timeout. know where to go as a big play from the D tackle Jamel spew off all of the great alumni of course partner you're one of them to come out of here handle the hop on the snap and getting it away it's Tracy. Oh, wow. oh wow special teams miscue that's Couldn't hold hurt. on to the football, and now Norfolk State has the ball in the red zone. Special team in D.C. area. And Coons on Got first him. down has R.J. Baker wide open, and they score! The Take a look at this. They're going to slip the running back out the backfield, and he's going to wait, wait, wait for it. Ah. Uh, Sucker, a little sucker play they call that, and they fell for it. R.J. Baker. Wow. Giving you a minute. Go get some points. He's going to chase it starting right now as the pass completes to the outside. And what faith shown as they put it in the hand. And a lot of time ticking off the clock. Wow. The snap here. Williams looking, has Richie Ilaraza open in the middle of the field and into Spark. Tick, tick, tick. Well, they got a couple seconds. They didn't start the clock. Looking, looking, feeling pressure, avoiding it, gets it off and too tall for Eden James. That'll stop the clock and bring up. Dylan West. That's Williams. Plenty of time, man wide open into the hands of Braylon Smith, and Braylon Smith inside. The players trying to be players and make plays, so. Williams going to try to take a attempt at the end zone and throws it out of bounds, so that'll leave a couple seconds left. And now yards in the first week of the season against Eastern Michigan. This one is up, and it is through. So as time expires on the clock for the first half, on this first offensive possession out of the locker room, the handoff to Jared Hunter. Hunter sees a burst to that left side, and Jared Hunter 
with a great pickup into Spark. Jared Hunter outrushing the team on that one carry. They hand it back off to number two. He tries to cut back up the middle and dragging some defenders along with him. He gets to the 20-yard. Pass happy, so I like the adjustment they made so far. And it's Casey Hawthorne out of the Wildcat, and Casey Hawthorne tripped up and stopped by. Stay focused. Sure, he reminded them of that at the half. James trying to be patient, looking for some space, creating his own, and brought down Keyshawn with the Bison. And they have kept it on the ground. Six straight runs, Eden James again, but a flag flies out as well. Shears the backfield with him. Looking to his right the entire way, trying to go there and blanketed coverage on kick. 0 for 4. Here's Williams. He has a man and just overthrows Richie Ilaraza here to go into the locker room to put it within a score. Trying to get him even closer, has enough leg, and it's through. Just a freshman, but he's lined up in the slot right now. And I always say, anytime you see true freshmen on the field making an impact, they got to be really good. Here he is. He's got the ball in his hands, and he's got some room and some space, and then tripped up near the 45-yard line by doing it, doing through development of talent, not necessarily tapping into the transfer portal as much on the carry as Lex Henry, his first of the game, stopped up by Stewart. It's going to be like this every week. And then we asked Coach Scott from Howard, and he almost had the exact same response. Yeah. Like, every week is going to be a tough matchup in the Mideast Athletic. Coons lets it go and overthrows. In the Big Ten against Ohio State, currently trailing in that one. They're looking for that signature win as that's a strong run by Jared Hunter. on Run the ball effectively on first and second down. Hunter able to avoid one tackler. Makes positive play out of that one. And here on third and four, James in the backfield. And that one batted down. Great defensive play of the future of Norfolk State football. Lex Henry is held up by Terrence Holland and Darian Brokenberg. Some shift here and the handoff to Big Mo. And Big Mo first carry, the junior out of. Gain back the momentum. Albert in motion, moving to the top of your screen as doubled up and feeling the pressure and brought down. There's Terrence Holland again. And cool. Back on the field, more than six minutes to go here in the third. Eden James right. hopping outside. Nice run from the sophomore. Work. You think about Eden James. and team is Eden James, but he's a young strat of the group, and he's got that game-breaking ability. They hand it off to him again, tripped up just short of the first down. Dalen Long, happy that he's back healthy. And they've got a stable of running backs that they can go to. A little extra stutter step through and punches it forward. And it's a first down. First down comparisons. The eighth of the game just picked up for Howard. Williams looking, throws to the sideline. There's Hawthorne. We had a guy named Jermaine Kahn who was uh, pretty versatile. He could throw the ball pretty well, too. The handoff to James, and he's going to go backwards after Keyshawn Lynch brings it a great job in that first half. Got to pick up 15 here. The pass is complete to Gavin Harris, and Harris, the true freshman tight end out of San Antonio. I mean, twist around to the outside to give the look. Like they're bringing pressure. Hawthorne looked to have been held up a little bit. No flag on. Was and then Lamar Raynard from North Carolina A&T amassed 300.
35 wins and only two losses in his career. Trying to get out of their own end zone and tripped up nowhere to go. Not much room. Happy to have him back. Left with a concussion last week. Coons from his own end zone and completes the pass to Mitchell. Nice. As early as this season. As they're vying for a shot at the MIAC title. And the Tavion Morse. So many successful people who have come through Howard University. So I've enjoyed my time here. They've embraced this Rattler. And I'll be back. <laughs> Lisa, it's oh, the yeah, biggest. Oh, yeah, I mean, Yard Fest, people, again, I give credit. Anytime you can get, you know, folks out in the rain, it's impressive. And is that impressive takedown from the defense? Steps up, and Otto Coons has plenty of room to run, and he's like, I'm not going down easy. Howard Great, Jay Skywalker here with you on this Saturday, the handoff to Evans, and Evans plunging ahead, and then brought down, gain of five, flag flies. Done a pretty good job in limiting the penalties, five apiece. Coons takes a shot, unloads it, and overthrown. And Coons, who was shaken up a 420. Take another deep shot here. Instead, lets it go quickly with Ian White in his face. And RJ Baker trying to skirt. The wind has shifted. Tracy, the hold. The kick is up. And does it have enough leg? Yes, it gets through. <laughs> Sun's back out. Let's see if Jared Hunter can break through. Not able to do so as A.J. Richardson comes up Get behind this group. Something to cheer about. We'll see if Quentin Williams can give him more to cheer about. Pass low to Casey Hawthorne. They say he hauls it. Not going to call for the review. We saw one earlier as Quentin Williams tries to plow ahead, said he goes backwards throughout his career with the Bison. And brought down, well, we talked about this is the start of MEAC play, we'll be on. Eaton James. You've seen, okay. <laughs> Eaton James has done a good job of getting some carries and making the most of them. Into the hands of the sure-handed Richie Illarock. Get him the ball, he's your feature guy. Feeling the pressure, dumps it off. Eaton James, plenty of space. He's got some blocking up ahead. Runs into his own teammate, Hawthorne. Still on his feet, and Eaton James turns it into a touchdown. You said he's the guy. Give him a chance to create his legend, and this is why you create legends on homecoming, sold out crowd, capacity, gets the screen pass, keeps the balance, then finds some daylight, turns on the Jets for a big play for Howard University. Casey Hawthorne in the Wildcat, and he is able to sneak through tie ball game. High Green Stadium, love it. Yeah, this is just Wildcat giving it to your best athlete. One cut, finds a lane, and gets in just enough to tie. This isn't deja vu, because they lost at Tennessee State's homecoming a week ago, and the score was 23. 20. Oh, oh nice Coons play. Into the hands of the receiver. Are they going to call it a catch? And Tavion Morris taking their time. And gets the snap off. There's Evans. Evans tackle. There's Christian White. We've called his name into Troy Douglas's system. His defensive coordinator. And there's Broken Burl along with Stewart. Providing pressure in the face and Coons lets it go. It's third and nine. Down right here. Coons looking, and that one may have been deflected as a second down. Cameron Sapp in the ball game. He put a man in motion and snap. Sapp doesn't have much room to run right up the middle. Did a really good job, too. <laughs> 
Third and six. A lot of contact. Tavion Moores. Last one was a career long from 50. This one from 36 yards out. And it is through. So Norfolk stick. And now from the 20. Shaking off the tacklers. Eden James again. Where Eden James, you talk about edge of your score. Right now, I like this formation. Him and Hawthorne on the same side of the field. And then you got Illaraz in the slot. We look towards that side, pass short to third downs. Williams has a step up, feels the pressure, has room to run. First down yardage and more across the 50 as he runs out of bounds. Good decision making has them in Spartan territory. Williams finds Illa Raza who comes back to adjust, catches it. James looking for a hole, any room to run. Reverses field and then Ooh. falls down on his own, just couldn't. Howard must get to the, into the hands of Jared Hunter and Jared Hunter slithering through Jared Hunter. That hole negates a 29 yard gain now. Second and long again. This time, Richie Ilaraza has room. Richie Ilaraza inside the red zone. So, closing in on two minutes. Jared Hunter saw a defender heave him. Hunter. Stop, there's A.J. Richardson with the ankle tap. First game in the MEAC for, for both teams. And Jared Hunter is there, he's got the ball! Touchdown, Howard! ...by Quinn Williams to allow Hunter to come all the way from the backfield to get one on one in his matchup. Ells Walker. They haven't kicked a deep ball game. No need to try and start now. And they try. Look out. They get it to him. Biles Walker with the ball. He's got some room along that left side. Setting up a great return as he's finally tripped up. They hadn't done it all game long. At 17 9 at the half. They've got one minute and eight seconds to try to come up with a dub. Has a man, overthrows his intended target, Kavon. Norfolk State's done a good job in pass protection. Looking, looking, not much room to run and can't escape Darian Bilkenberg. <laughs> and that, that's on Kuhn. Surprised if they threw short here. Kavon King in the backfield, gotta watch for him to spill out. And that one's into the hands. Pass complete to Chris Butler. His first oh, catch. The spike it, so you have to run the play right here in a hurry. This could be the ball game. Coons gets it out. It's going to be short. No, or no, no. they had moved the change when they shouldn't have. He needed about three yards. Coons is ready. The snap. Looking downfield. Tough coverage. Kenny Gallup. Does he come up with the interception or wrestle for the ball? Whoa. Is it interception or was it, did both of them have possession? Whoa, if both of them have possession, then that goes to the offense. Gallup came over to safety and Gallup brought in the wrestle there. Let's see, because it gets hit. It's a, it's a wrestle for it all Ooh. the way to the ground. Ooh, and it's a turnover, so they have to look at it. And the Howard Bison 
defend their territory. They open MEAC play with a close win, 27-20.